Hello, hello everybody, welcome back to the EWA channel, it's your boy Axel once again and today we've got for you a 1 vs 1 replay in Fords of Aizen patch 1.09 version 2 between very very good players uh, we do have in the top left side Boromir spawning as elves and in the bottom right side we do have Exelion I think you all know Exelion by now, he's been on this channel a couple of times very very good player, always love to see his replay uh, replays and uh, his gameplay and yeah it's supposed to be a very very good match uh, of course in patch 1.09 version 2 we do have a lot of interesting new um, <clears throat> kind of like changes and stuff like that so yeah I hope you all you will enjoy this little matchup between elves and dwarves and uh, right before we get into the replay make sure you guys are subscribed to our channel help us hit 500 subs and uh, yeah the more subs we get <laughs> the bigger the, compu uh, the community will get and we'll have a lot of fun stuff happening so yeah make sure you guys are subscribed and without further ado let's uh, jump straight into it Excellent is starting with two three tunnels already uh, to a pike battalion with the Hall of Warriors of course uh, building a whole of warriors and a pike battalion. Uh, Boromir did start with a barracks, two melon trees from what I can see right now, uh, and a battalion of archers. Using his builder to lure uh, those uh, wards, wards away from their lair and uh, let the uh, archer archers hit them uh, while the builder is tanking some damage. Exelion will already go for the troll, uses a, I think a rallying call, yep we do have a rallying call being used uh, and Boromir is choosing to play with the far side with of co which of course increase archer's range by 35% uh, plus 35% range, absolutely amazing, uh, those pikes will take down this uh, troll there real real quick and get some nice money to start things off. Uh, second battalion of Excellion is going to be some guardians and he's clicking on one more to come. Uh, I think the far sight indeed already has been used and the second creep of uh, of the game will go, uh, the second ward layer will go for a uh, Boromir as well. Does have another battalion of archers on the field and some Lorian warriors as well. Those Lorian warriors will try to take down those pikes, but the guardians will be here to help those pikes run away, I believe. So, yeah, um, basically version 1.09, uh, patch 1.09 version 2 is a lot about creeping and uh, winning those first little fights of the game, you know. Uh, harassing your opponent and getting those uh, nice uh, gold awards from the creeps is very important in uh, patch 1.09 version 2 uh, especially if you if you are a, a 1.0 player and you want to start uh, to play the new version creeps for me at least are very very important unlike in uh, 1.0 uh, where you basically need to rush your opponent as fast as you can and take down his fortress in like three seconds in the game so yeah that's uh, one thing to know Boromir is currently uh, gathering a nice force with two battalions of archers and uh, one battalion of Lorian warriors But we do have a massive army from Exelion right here uh, Some uh, axe throwers as well as two battalion of guardians and some pikes uh, Dwarven units are very very tanky in uh, patch, uh, patch 1.09 uh, version 2 so That's a really really good running running call has been thrown down on this uh, little army right there that Exelion uh, built already and is looking for a push I believe uh, right now those archers will not cause a lot of damage actually to those uh, guardian battalions especially when they are on a defensive stance uh, we do have some hobbits on the field of course Exelion did manage to creep this troll and he did capture the outpost uh, the inn sorry as well basically the elven army is uh, depending on uh, archers right now uh, from Boromir and yeah, as you can see, archers are actually doing pretty good against uh, um, the axe throwers. But I want to really see how good they're doing. Yeah, three battalions of archers, I mean, they uh, they would drag guardians. But look at that, even now, they're not taking that much damage uh, 
from what I've, I've, I've been used to in uh, patch 1.0. So yeah, that's very interesting. Xthelion is uh, looking to take some melon trees and uh, buildings down. He didn't manage to, I don't think he took down one building so far, but he will definitely. Oh, let's see. No, he's not going for the melon tree. Don't know why. I thought he would probably take it down, but we do have some reinforcements right here from Xthelion. Uh, one Pike Battalion, one Guardian Battalion, as well as some Hobbits are on the field. A little fight between Axe Throwers and uh, Lorian Archers. Actually, the Axe Throwers... Looks like the Axe Throwers will win this one. I don't think they are... Uh, that the Axe Throwers do as much damage as the Lorian Warriors, but basically the armor, they are a lot more tankier than them. So uh, that's interesting as well. Uh, we do have a lot of archers on the field from the Elven player. Three battalions already, as well as one that left right there. Kthelion is uh, trying to gather some uh, map control and uh, momentum as well. Put some pressure on the Elven uh, player, Boromir. Fourth battalion of archers are coming in. And those Riven the Lancers, of course, they would do an amazing job uh, getting some map control. Riven the Lancers, oh, they look actually different. I don't know why. Oh, that's weird. Maybe that's the HD edition. We do have a Halder on the field. Tom Bombardier is right here. So, oh my god, that was a very... <laughs> Very nice Sonic song right there. Uh, but King Dane is joining the field as well. Tom Bombadil is just racking stuff right now. Look at all those <laughs> pikes right there. Uh, King Dane, I did saw King Dane on the field as well. Uh, of course, in patch 1.09 version 2, King Dane does have himself a... Uh, don't, I don't know if you can call it a steed, but a pig. He does have himself a boar, uh, just like in the Hobbit movies. Um... So yeah, that's that's an animation I will look uh, look out for in this game. A little new thing, you know, a little touch. Uh, this Brax Women while did go down. Haldir is uh, getting some levels right now, building up those uh, guardians. And will he grab himself a level two? Yes, he will. Level two Haldir is already out and about. Dane is still level one. Uh, it does. It did look like uh, Boromir did manage to clean this little uh, base from Exelion. I don't really like <laughs> this stuff, but you know, uh, King Dane already level two at level four. He get himself the Mighty Rage, which absolutely is amazing power. Uh, targeted friendly units gain twenty percent speed, twenty five percent damage. And 25% uh, shroud revealing. Uh, enemy hordes in the same location suffer minus 25% armor and minus 25% damage. This is an absolutely amazing power. Uh, the speed from the dwarves is absolutely OP as well. As uh, Dane is getting himself a level 3 right now. Uh, but we do have a nice force from the Elven player. It's all very based on archers as you can see right here so i don't know how much damage that could do actually to some structures but uh i guess we'll look out for that dane i'm guessing is level four already yes indeed we are going to have some battle wagons on the field as well as some of course axe throwers and uh infantry units and uh dwarves are really good at defending actually um harassment um, against harassment because they do have the tunnel network so cavalry and stuff like that you just put one battalion of uh, of uh, pikes in uh, your tunnel should be enough to defend against any cav unit that will come Ooh, Dane is going to use his uh, mighty rage ability right there and the hobbit summon will become coming in right now in the middle of those arches and I'm looking for a firecracker from um, Pippin or Sam I don't see it though 
But yeah, those archers will go down. Legolas is on the field as well. Legolas will be very good against those battle wagon. Ooh, he's going to use his Hawk Strike. Almost taking down the battle wagon. And that's what good about Legolas. He can snipe those uh, those battle wagons from far away. Haldir is brutally taking down Pippin or Murray. I can't really tell the difference between them. Uh, and yeah, this amazing effect. I don't really know what power, what uh, upgrade on the fortress really gives you that little um, effect, but still beautiful, isn't it? Dane is <laughs> going to get himself level 5 right now. At level 8, of course, he gets his little boar right there. Akthelion is actually doing an amazing job against um, his opponent's tractures. And a very good player from him, especially. Elves versus Dwarves is always a tough matchup, I think at least. Legolas is not the tankiest hero in the game. <laughs> so as you can see, he will be forced to run away, because those explorers will cause a lot, a lot of damage to him. And uh, looks like Xenon is actually playing, uh, actually cornering his opponent very, very early into the game. So yeah, that's... A nice play from Italian right there. A rallying call will be thrown that thrown down on uh, those uh, axe throwers, uh, as well as the leadership from uh, King Dane. Of course, once King Dane is in the middle of the axe throwers army, he can grab himself some levels as well, experience. Rivendell answers, just out and about. Trying to cause some damage, but look at the axe throwers actually. They are causing a lot of damage to the archers right there. But it will be forced to run away because uh, the elven player does have the superior force. Although we do have two battle wagons on the f on the on the battlefield right now. And uh, they are very good against the archers and uh, of course Lorien warriors as well. Legolas will try to snipe down a battle wagon and will be able to do it. 13 power points right now for the Elven player. Boromir. 16 power points for Ecthelion. I do want to see this boar. Come on, give me the pig. Give me the pig. Uh, the Elven player Boromir is starting to play with some uh, peasant. We already talked about it uh, in this channel's uh, channel. Peasants are really good against structures, and of course, they doesn't cost a lot. Uh, but they are pretty weak in armor, armor-wise. 124 peasant battalion. If you take down one tunnel, that's it. You made your profit, profit right there. Legolas and uh, Haldi will try to snipe some uh, dwarves that are running away. We do have a Gimli on the field as well. Gimli is a very, very strong hero, indeed. Six battalion of battalions of archers. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, Haldir gives leadership to his archers. Uh, let's see what's the leadership for really is. Fifty percent damage, which makes sense because you don't really need armor when you have uh, archers around. But look at how quick those archers are taking down pikes. This is crazy. Um, but yeah, fifty percent damage. And uh, Aaron experience 25% faster. Excellent is going for some more battle wagons. Uh, upgrading his uh, Hall of Warriors to level 2 as well. This elf of army is absolutely... <laughs> looks funny. Felion would try to harass his opponent, Boromir, with some uh, hobbits. Hobbits are really cheap as well. Not cheaper than peasants, but still. Right there, if he 
take down the structure already made profit so why so it doesn't really really care <clears throat> Stalin would try to ooh, lure his man, main, the main elven army away from his base and go out from two directions. We do have the Undermind coming in strong for Xelian. Xelian is taking out his Gimli as well as a battalion of Guardian as well as Dane. Uh, Mighty Rage can be used but we do have the Eagle Summon right here and the Eagles are causing a lot of damage to units. <coughs> This little army for McTellin just been banished right there. And yeah, the Dwarven heroes, I guess, will be forced to retreat. That was a very good play, actually, from the Elven player Boromir. Uh, using his eagle there. Uh, but the, he will need to kind of, like, use them more effective and, uh, yeah, take them down to another place. Oh my god, what was that? I think we just missed a nasty trample uh, from a battle wagon. Then he's already upgrading his fortress uh, with some armor. Uh, Boromir is working on some uh, silver throne, silver throne arrows. I'm guessing. And yeah, the Eagle Summon did came very, very good for uh, Boromir. See, so with two heroes on uh, on his side, we do have a Hobbit Summon. Dane is using his Mighty Rage. Look at how quick they become. Oh my god. Usain Bolt is on the field and he's in the shape of Hobbit. Look at them running. Oh my god. <laughs> this is actually pretty funny uh, to be. 1000. Oh my god. Gimli just missed his most nastiest uh, leap attack right there. Gloin can use the slam ability potentially, but he's. Uh, I think he's running away right now. Yeah, look at this army right there from uh, Bormir, the Elven player. Um, but. Of course, Exelion does have himself 1,000 command points. She can support a very large army. Uh, Boromir is sitting currently on 550. 17 power points, actually, which is uh, pretty good for him. Let's see, Exelion. Exelion is sitting only on uh, 7. It's interesting. Uh, Elrond is on the field already level 3. Of course, he can give leadership to his uh, units. At uh, level seven, level six actually will get himself a wheel wind, uh, which of course it's a little tornado right there. But look at the catapult! Oh, that was a nice shot from the catapult once again. Boom, boom, boom! Already level four, right there. Uh, but most of those archers, oh Jesus! Aaron will almost go down there. I think it will survive this attack. This catapult is absolutely MVP of this game. Uh, we do have some men. <laughs> catapult is crushing them. Some men of the right now as well. Uh, we do have a men of the salmon as well for Excellion. I think he just got himself some nice power points right there. Uh, 19 power points, 20 power points almost for the Elden player Boromir. Boromir is a very good player actually. Um, <clears throat> I did see a replay. Uh, of, of him and uh, Archangel and it did, it did go for a long game so if you guys want to see that uh, let me know in the comments down below but we need to stop for a second we do have a King Dane on a pig come on boys come on we got it King Dane is roaming around on his little pig absolutely amazing beautiful it's just beautiful come on I think you can hear this uh, little effect right there. Sound. Ah. You'll hear it once in a while. 
Undermine is coming in. Gimli is back on the field with the Battalion of Guardian. Legolas is almost going down right there. Yes, indeed. Legolas has gone down. Oh, something. Uh... No, Gimli wastes another one of his uh, leap attacks. He needs to run away right now. A far sight will be used on those archers. But Gimli is indeed a very tanky hero. Do have some more reinforcements from the Dwarven player. A lot of them are coming in. A shape of uh, guardians and axe throwers upgraded as well. Gimli's back. Oh, but that can be a nasty long shot. Oh, very, very nice long shot indeed. And I think Ekthelin will be forced to run away once again. Although the catapult is doing absolutely amazing against those archers. Maybe some more catapults from Ekthelin. Ekthelin is using some demolishers as well. And yeah, look at him. It's just, just have the map control right now. All the bottom left side is his. And of course, the top right side as well. The police are roaming around just under my house. Because they know King Dane is on a pig. And it's just illegal. Biller is going down from Excellion. Level 3. Tunnel. <laughs> Look at him, it's so beautiful. Oh, oh, Gimli is gonna have his time of his life. All those archers will go down. Gimli is using his Slayer ability and forcing the Elven forces to run away. That was a nasty, nasty leap right there from Gimli. Very nice play from Excellion as well. Using, I think that was a Cloud Break right there. Yes, indeed, that was. Oh, yeah, Aaron is in trouble. Those uh, axe throwers can potentially take him down, actually. Yeah, one more. Oh, he's gonna have his uh, Athelos ability. So they won't be able to take him down. Uh, the Elven, L the Lorian warriors are actually, all of them are, looks upgraded. And they are. But look at the Dwarven forces from Akthelion. Gimli is right here. Can potentially snipe uh, Elrond. <laughs> Just take him down with his axe. Uh, we do have another um, cloud break from the Elven player right now, Bormir. And uh, Eagles are available as well. Ah, will be available very soon. Those Catapult can have the time of their life right now. Just want to, I just want you guys to hear this uh, little song of the fact from uh, Dane. Ah, do it! Oh, don't think you can hear it actually. But it is glorious, isn't it? <laughs> Dane gonna grab himself the level 10 ability, the summon of the Royal Guard can potentially, I believe, take down this fortress right there. Hobbit summon has been used as well. And uh, King Dane with his pig. Oh, you just hear that. Did you just hear that? The beautiful pig and his little army right there are taking down, starting to take down the elven base from Boromir. Just look at that. Oh my god. 
makes me want to eat some bacon right now. Look at King Dane going and what an absolutely amazing play from Ecthelion. It does look like it's going to be the end of this matchup. Oh yeah, Mighty Rage has been used and there you go. Bormir just ha just been defeated. What an absolutely amazing game. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed this one, make sure you guys are subscribed to our channel. We are going to have a one versus one tournament in uh, patch 1.09 version 2 uh, very very soon I think like in the middle of this month as well as uh, semi-finals and finals it all going to be casted live on this YouTube channel so if you guys want to look out for that and you want to get updated make sure you subscribe to our channel and yeah nothing more to add Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been your boy Axel. Stay safe, stay young, and peace.